All right, so here's a question. Terry asks, who provides the BOL, the shipper or the carrier? Um, it depends. You know, that's a really good question. It's not always the same. So in most cases, the shipper will provide the shipping, uh, the documentation, right? They will provide the documentation at the point of pickup. But if not, the carriers will have a BOL that they can fill out with all the shipper information. Um, and then, of course, that needs to be signed because a bill of lading, a BOL, just so people understand, a bill of lading is actually a legal contract. It's a contract for carriage. It means that that carrier is accepting responsibility for that freight while it's on their truck. So it's basically a contract that the shipper can go back to in an effort to file a claim or if the property's stolen or whatever the case may be. So a BOL is a contract. So in a lot of cases, the shipper will provide it, but in some cases the carrier will have a uh, bill of ladings with them in it and they will provide it. Now, once the bill of lading is created, you know, it's signed for at the point of origin, right? So that they know who signed and picked up the freight and then it's signed for at the point of destination. And the destination location keeps a copy of that bill of lading. The carrier keeps a copy of that bill of lading. And of course, you know, the shipper has an original, but then the shipper is going to need a sign, typically going to need a signed copy of that bill of lading. So the carrier will mail that bill of lading to the broker with their invoice. The broker will then invoice the shipper and provide a copy of that signed bill of lading to the shipper. And that's the basic flow of how a bill, a bill of lading works. Good question, Terry. Thanks. Hey, if you enjoyed this Freight Broker Q&A, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to click the little bell to ensure that you get notified every time I release a new video. And if you have questions, make sure you add them in the comments below. And who knows, maybe I'll use one of your questions on a future Freight Broker Q&A.